Coming up, the I-Team poses as a 14-year-old girl on Facebook, friending hundreds of local teens. And what they showed us was so shocking, we had to call the police. There's a video on your Facebook page we'd like to talk to you about. What's your team revealing on Facebook? That's coming up on today's TMJ4 News. Now an I-Team investigation that even stunned the I-Team. We took the local high school to see how many students would tell us about themselves on Facebook. And we did it without them knowing who we were. Steve Shamraz has this eye-opening investigation. That's right, and once the kids allowed us into their private pages, we could find out all kinds of things. And we did. Some of it so disturbing, we had to turn it over to police. Drinking, drugs, and danger. This is what some area high school kids are doing and sharing with their friends on Facebook. One student so proud of her empty beer cans, she stacks them around a diploma from a substance abuse prevention program. There's a lot of pictures of you on Facebook with appears to be drinking, drunk, passed out. And this kid posted a video bragging about how fast he drives. How fast? Uh, a little bit over the speed limit. 120, 130? Uh, How do we know all this? Because on the internet, you can be anyone you want. And on Facebook, we want it to be her. We created a fictional high school student named Caitlin Potosi. Okay, Waukesha South, class of 2014. We gave her some favorite movies and musicians, made her a Packers fan, and sent her out into the digital world. And that is all it took. Within a few hours, Caitlin had 18 friend requests. Within a few days, her popularity exploded. More than 300 students at two high schools quickly make Caitlin their friend. Friends with full access to photos, status updates, and other intimate details of their lives. Thanks to the anonymity of Facebook, none of our new friends at Waukesha South or Nathan Hale High Schools knew we were the ones watching. She's me. She's you. She's me. Really? <laughs> what do you mean she's uh, you? Until we Tell them. Is she your Facebook friend? Um, she tried to add me. No. And you said no? Yeah. Why? Because I don't know her. That's what kids should do when they get a strange friend request. Hundreds let us peek into their lives anyway, including this guy. There we go. That's you right there. Yeah, it's actually a banned picture. So. Okay, so you're, you're, you're one of our friends. Yep. He's a senior and added our fake freshman because he thought she looked like someone in the school band. But his mistake is innocent compared to some of our other friends. Remember the kid who likes to drive fast? We showed his Facebook page to his mom, who said we need to teach her son a lesson. If you go over there and surprise him like you did right now, me, I think he, it would be a wonderful lesson to him and to others. You know what? I think that might be a great idea. Please go on. Where'd you get up to that kind of speed? Uh, it was... Uh... On the highway. He quickly changes his story and tells me that really wasn't him driving, and either way, he doesn't care. I still have nothing to hide. I mean, if you guys want to monitor me, I really don't care. And our graduate of the DARE substance abuse program, we find her at home after school, and she does not want to talk about the dozens of drinking photos on her Facebook. You've got beer cans around that award. You think that was, it was, it was funny that you have a DARE award, but, you know, you've I don't know, I have to go. A Rod Rostampour says our friending experiment shows why parents might want to watch those Facebook accounts more closely. He's the co-founder of Social Shield, a service that, well, spies on your kids for you. Social Shield filters through photos and posts for signs of drugs and alcohol and reports back to mom and dad if a kid friends someone suspicious like Caitlin Potosi. How would you have caught us? I mean, we had hundreds of friends in common. If there was no one in common when it was first added, even if that grew to be multiple mutual friends in common, uh, we would have first triggered when they were first added. But no one seemed to be keeping an eye on our friends as they update Facebook while they take a math test, or when they are up at 2 a.m. on a school night, or here plotting to cut class to go sledding. Then there's the news Caitlin gets about the group Waukesha Potheads with more than 200 members. Or how about the 16-year-old girl who puts topless photos of herself online? Something so serious, we skip the parents. 
and went right to police. We passed information about two clearly at risk kids onto their school's police liaison. We did not want to see those students get in trouble, but feared for their safety. Steve Shamras, today's TMJ4. Facebook can be fun, but obviously yes. a lot for parents to be aware of. Have to be wise. Well, aren't instructors being told to twist?